what we have here are my balls all lined out. These are the different types of line outs where my jumpers usually jump. That's a front ball, safe ball. That's usually my warm up. And I work my way to the back. Now follow me. Now, how I train is I need as many distractions as possible. Shades, beanie, usually I have a big hoodie on. As many distractions to make my throws a little more difficult. Put pressure on myself so when it comes to a game situation, it's way easy. Now, where I aim is just above the bar. That's the height that I go for. Just above the crossbar, and I aim it from this angle going in. How I hold my ball, obviously the power hand at the back, right? I want to get it in line with that. And this is just for direction. The right hand is for speed and also the rotation of the ball. And the left hand is just to direct it. How I approach my line out, I don't do no squat or anything. I like to stand tall. The taller you stand, the easier it is to lob it over whatever jumper you're throwing at. First ball. I like to throw from back here. The reason being is that the jumpers don't know when I'm throwing. It's easy to jerk out from here, but when you start here, as soon as you cock it, they know that you're about to jump, uh, to throw at me. There's a front ball. It's all about speed here. Because you need to get it faster than the guy you're going up. Second ball. Speed. There we go. Moving back. This is where your front jumper usually takes a few steps back where you actually have to lob it. But you still need to beat the guy with the speed on the ball. It's a little challenging throwing here, but that's how you train. Deep breath and release. Deep breath and release. Money ball. My favorite line out. All it is here, it's your speed as a hooker. The jumper usually goes according to how fast you throw. Before I throw, I always take deep breaths. Relax, punch it out. Relax, punch it out. Also one of my favorites because I pride myself in the back ball because not many hookers are able to get it at the back with the direction and the speed and the height. I exaggerate everything that I do so by the time I adjust to my jumpers, it's easier to, uh, to throw at a certain height where they're comfortable at. I always go for the international standard. Check, I'm not jerking when I throw. It's all natural. Easy. With the right height as well. There, I didn't finish high, but usually you want to finish high when you throw. That's usually my warm up. And then after that, get the, all the areas out the way, and then I start again. And I don't want any areas when I throw. Proud myself in this as a hooker, and uh, this is my throwing routine. I usually go through this twice a day in the mornings and before training, and I do it with a medicine ball, and I check my distances too, so it's easier to release out uh, the ball from your triceps using your lower back and your core with the stability to get that perfect accuracy. It's a science technique.